we going to stay as a balance? We're going to go to the mountain for Lolo's birthday. Who's Lolo? My grandpa. Okay, see my father. Uh, it's his birthday today. Only 68. <laughs> you want to tie your hair? No. Because we can be motor, your hair will be like this. No. <laughs> Just fly up on your broomstick. <laughs> whack whack. Thank you. You're the whack one. You're the girlier. Here at the mountain again for Jane's father's birthday, and I almost okay, fell over. Villa, you're getting out quick. So, we're here at the mountain now for Jane's father's birthday. It's Pop's birthday. Can you hold me? And we got chicken, lots of chicken, oh lots of chicken in this funky bag. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right. With that. <laughs> no, you hold the bully. Okay, <laughs> hold the umbrella, you get the chicken. <laughs> uh, rescue. Love Help it hand. <laughs> <laughs> Got the manok. I can I can hear talking. They're praying. It's, yeah, so Jane's father's holding a a mass in his chapel. They've invited a lot of people. So we're here. Christmas presents. Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> so family's here now. Food. And there's a lot of people here. Lots of children. Mm. They all from the village. So we're gonna go over now, the priest is gonna bless the food. Very traditional in the Philippines.
So we're at the market again. Jane's gone to get some fruit. As tradition in the Philippines on New Year's Eve, you celebrate with 12 round fruit. So Jane's got the task of trying to find 12 round fruit for us. Apples, oranges, pears, grapes, coconuts, watermelon, Rambutan, Lanzunis, Dorian, Dorian, Durian, Durian, however you say it. Um, there's quite a few. So we're going to try and find what we can. It's very busy. Just gone 8 o'clock in the morning here and already it's extremely, extremely busy. So Adam is preparing for New Year. He's cooking a pork rib. Yeah. Is it your first time cooking pork rib? Not like this. Yeah. Yeah. Not Filipino style. So what we have is our Fruits. 13 types of fruits. So have 12 fine fruits, got 13 green shula, mm. and we've got lemon, kiwi, grapes, grapes watermelon, orange, rambutan, mango. Where's the rambutan? Rambutan. No, that's not rambutan, that's mangosteen. Mangosteen, rambutan. No, that's the lanzunis. Lanzunis, rambutan. <laughs> yeah. Mango, pear, apple. There's some more underneath. <laughs> and there's a couple underneath as well. So, Trina's about to eat some sushi. And the ribs are coming along. They're getting there. And there's Jean. There's our round fruit. Just about an hour to go till 2022, can you believe? Uh, it was this time last year we were looking forward to going to the Philippines. We were determined to make it happen and we did. And what will 2022 hold for us? We don't know. We hope it's going to be a good year. One thing's for sure, we're going to start it where we want to be in our house here in the Philippines. Vodka. <laughs> Isabella's drunk on Roblox. <laughs> Less than one minute to go to next year. Fireworks going on outside, just like in England. A lot of people set off the fireworks too early. They're late. There we are. The fireworks are off. It's 2022. We stayed awake for once. Yeah. Gonna make this a good year. Yeah. Leave last year behind us. A lot of good things happened last year, but we're gonna leave it behind, move forwards to 2022. It's raining out there. Happy New Year, Cookie. Happy New Year, Cream. Good boys. There's a lot of fireworks going off out there. Don't be scared. It's all okay. So there's a restaurant up the road from us. You can hear people screeching. So it's here 2022. You can hear the fireworks. I think it's a 
restaurant up the road from us. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Sushi? <laughs> Not for me, thank you, but I have the others. No! Not sushi, but I have the ribs and some of the fruit. Some of the fruit. So happy new year everybody. We hope everybody had a great Christmas and have a fantastic 2022. It's come around really quickly. Can't believe we've been here over six months and we're into a new year already. So we're well and truly into rainy season here in the Philippines. Stuck inside a lot, aren't we? So let's come out today to do a few things. Try to enjoy our garden once again. It's been a little while since we've been out here. Rained pretty much every day for the last two weeks. Are they out the side? Okay. Can you see them? Okay. Oh, there they are. They're hide and seek. They're hide and seek. They're not here. Really? Ah, they're on the other side. Down there, here's one of them, that's Cookie. Cookie. They're playing hide and seek. You're in Monka, huh? I know for mummy and daddy. Happy New Year, guys. This time last year we were in the UK. The weather was very similar to this, and we were dreaming of escaping the rain. And we didn't escape the rain. But the cold. That's where we escaped the life we had. We escaped going to work every day. We escaped. Mm. Stress. We try to skip the stress. It's raining. It's raining here. Oh, it's a raining season. <laughs> but still nice because it's warm. It is warm here in the Philippines, but it has gotten a little bit chilly at night, especially for Jane. She's been wearing a dressing gown sometimes and a blanket. I thought we left that behind in the UK. But no, seriously, it is cold at the moment here, compared to usual. So this year we decided to try and save a bit of money for Isabella. And we've made something out of bamboo, which I'm going to varnish today to help us save along the way as the year goes on. Here we have a money box. I'm gonna varnish this one. Yeah. And then we can give it to Isabella. <laughs> so we made it out of our leftover bamboo from doing the garden. Yeah. It's got a slot for the money to go in. Mm. It doesn't have a top. It doesn't have a top <laughs> or a bottom that can come off. So the only way we're going to be able to get the money out is to break it. Is to break it open. And what we're going to save in here for her is all of our leftover change each time we go shopping and things like that. We build it up as the year goes on until it's full, or till we get to the end of the year and see how much is in there for her for her savings. It's gonna be her piggy bank, isn't it? Yeah, so right. it's Isabella's piggy bank. We have some gloss. Oh god. Can you open it? <laughs> I think this is stuck. I think we need a knife. I don't have energy. Yeah, let me have a go. <laughs> oh wow. Mm, you probably need a knife. It's stuck in it. Yeah, I think I need to take a trip back inside. Yeah. It's, oh, it hurts my head, this one. <laughs> it's not for you, it's my hat. Here is the other one. I'm going, make it one for it. <laughs> it's rainy day, you don't feel like doing anything. You just want to, you just want to sit down, relax, being lazy. <laughs> Oh dear. Mm. Ah. That's better, that's quick and easy. <laughs> there we are. Oh. Did you beat you the lacquer? Yeah. Ah, smell. 
It smells. <laughs> it smells very strong. Okay. Yay. We have a glossed, varnished, completed money box. Yeah. So what are your plans for 2022? Drop us a comment, share with us. Travel will hopefully resume this year for most people, if not everybody. And hopefully the Philippines do open at some point soon this year for international tourists. So we have our finished money box for Isabella for her savings. Hello, what do you want? Hello, one, Isabella. We've got a surprise for you today. Yeah. As it's now a new year, it's time you learn. It's to learn what? The value of money. Hello. So what we've made for you is this. What do you think it is? Wood. This smells weird. It's a money box. We made it. Either when it's full up or at the end of the year, just before Christmas, then it will open it and see how much money is in there. We don't know how much we're putting in right now. So it'd be a big surprise. Encourage you to save money as the year goes on. Just push it through. There we are. When I was younger, I had a money box, I had a piggy bank, and I'll put in all my change, all the money I received. I'll save it all year long. At Christmas time, I would use that to spend it to buy presents for people. When you're a child, you don't really appreciate the value of money. But when you're an adult, you know that money is hard to come by and it's easy to go. So it's always good to have some savings, always good to save when you can. We're gonna teach Isabella to save the money she receives to value it. If we hadn't saved money, we would never move to the Philippines in the first place. This is what was instilled in me by my mother growing up. And to this day, I'm thankful and grateful for all of her advice. With the typhoon and what was going on in the Philippines, it's been a bit difficult for everybody. We've had a lot of things going on in the background but we're back now with regular vlogs. We're going to do our Q&A very soon. Also our budget video is coming up. We compiled our figures for the last three months so we can so we can go through our budget and tell you exactly how much over or even under we are. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for your comments. We're back to normal business now. We do appreciate all of your comments and your feedback. We have regular vlogs coming up. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Hit the bell icon to be notified when our next video comes up. It will be very soon. We're back to where we were now. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.